a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC News and Jib Jab Greetings. Your full AccuWeather forecast is always on top of your CNC local news pages. And speaking of weather, just over half an inch of rain fell on the Rochester area in those storms on Tuesday. Much better weather for the rest of the week. In Irondequoit, the town board has decided to hold off for a week on approving a tax break for the I-Square development project. Developer Mike Nolan wants to apply to the County of Monroe Industrial Development Agency, Comita, for a 25-year pilot. That's a payment in lieu of taxes agreement. It would lock in a reduced property tax rate on the 87,000 square foot parcel off Titus Avenue that Nolan and his wife are trying to redevelop into a new commercial and residential center for Arundaquoit. They would pay about $104,000 a year on a gradually increasing scale over that time. Board members raised concerns Tuesday night about the length of the agreement and whether it gave fair value to the town. This was an unexpected hitch in a project that's had strong public and business support. The Irondequoit Town Board will hold a special meeting next Wednesday at 6.30 to take a vote on the issue. And Nolan said he is building I-Square because he loves the town and doesn't want to do it on a schedule. That apparently worries town board members and Supervisor Mary Joyce DeRizio, who wants more details on the business plan. And continuing with the Rondequoit, the man accused of kidnapping a woman from her workplace in the town last month has been indicted by a Monroe County grand jury. Police say 51-year-old Anthony Canella abducted the secretary of the Josephat Ukrainian Church on East Ridge Road at Knife Point on August 30th, forced her into her car, drove her to several ATMs where he used her card to withdraw money from her account. Then he drove to Lyle Avenue in Rochester where he bailed out of the car and ran. The woman was unharmed. The grand jury rose Tuesday, returning an indictment against Canella of robbery in the first degree and kidnapping in the second degree. The grand jury also issued three murder indictments on Tuesday, one against Michael Bakari, a 56-year-old Rochester man charged with the murder of a Henrietta motel clerk back in 2004. He's charged with second-degree murder. And Miles Mitchell, who was 23, and 25-year-old James Hilliard were both indicted on second-degree murder plus robbery and weapons charges. They're accused of beating and shooting Joshua Grote to death on Whitney Street in Rochester in August. Continuing with crime and punishment, the two people accused in the death of Fairport High School teacher Heather Boyum both pleaded not guilty on arraignment Tuesday. Mark Sherbo and Megan Merkel were indicted last week by a Monroe County grand jury. Sherbo on three counts of aggravated vehicular homicide, one vehicular homicide, and DWI. Merkel on one count of vehicular manslaughter, DWI, and other traffic violations. Both Sherbo and Merkel are 23. The Monroe County Sheriff's Department says Merkel was driving her car on Route 250 in Webster, and Sherbo was riding his motorcycle, racing ahead, passing her car on the right shoulder, dropping back, and doing it again. Sherbo hit Boyum. She was riding her bicycle on the shoulder. The impact tossed her into the road. Merkel's car then went over her and killed her. The trial is set for March 11th. Both Sherbo and Merkel are being held in the Monroe County Jail. On a better note, a missing service dog has been reunited with her owner. Army veteran Josh Merrill had been searching for Raven, a three-year-old black lab, since September 9th. That's when he was involved in a car crash in Farmington, and the dog jumped out of his vehicle and ran. Raven was sighted around the Farmington area several times over nine days. Tuesday, she went into a fenced area behind the Morgan Supplies Company. Employees recognized her from news stories they'd seen. They closed the gate, and then they called Merrill, and he came and got her. Merrill suffers from PTSD, and Raven is helping him with his recovery. The West Webster Fire Department responded early Wednesday morning when flames broke out in the garage of a Penfield home. The fire broke out sometime after 1 a.m. in a house on Embury Road. The two people got out safely. The firefighters were able to keep the flames confined to the garage. That garage was extensively damaged, and investigators are looking at how it started. Finally today, the Greece Public Library has won statewide honors for improving the quality of its services. Greece Supervisor John Auberger says the town has won the 2012 Joseph Schubert Library Excellence Award. That's named after former state librarian Joseph Schubert. It's sponsored by the New York State Regents Advisory Council. 
First Ward Councilwoman Shannon O'Keefe said this recognizes a lot of work by the library director, Bernadette Foster, her staff, the trustees, and the organization, the Friends of the Greece Public Library. The annual award recognizes a library that has taken significant steps within the past two years to improve the quality of services offered to users. The Greece Library just completed a major upgrade and renovation. To the left of this player window are links to these and other stories. And down on the bottom of this page in that gray bar links that you can use. These are for you to post us stories that you've written, ideas that you want us to follow up on, things that you've heard. There are spaces for birth announcements, business announcements, wedding announcements, all kinds of information. If it's news to you, we want to know about it and we want to see it up here on these CNC news pages. So next news is as it happens. Updates are when necessary. And I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.